Bangladesh. He runs Bangladesh's first comedy club. He travels the world. He's here right now for us to do some more comedy. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Naveed Babu. It's good to be here. Uh, minority, I think, a few Bangladeshis over here. Like how many? Just one? That's what nobody wants to say. No, not me. I'm not him. It's him. I'm not me. It's kind of interesting because, you know, over here in the US, you know, everybody assumes you're from India. Oh, you're from India, right? I said, no, I'm from Bangladesh. All right. Uh, I said, no, no, Bangladesh is a separate country. All right. Which part of India is that in? <laughs> so, no, it's a separate country. Well, I can't tell the difference. I said, sometimes you actually can tell the difference for, you know, between an Indian and a Bangladeshi or a Pakistani, okay? We don't do this. <laughs> I still can't tell the difference between a South Indian yes and a South Indian no. <laughs> My South Indian friend Balan Dinesh explains to me, hey, Navid, listen, you are an engineer, I'm an engineer, watch very closely. A South Indian no is a horizontal motion from right to left, left to right, right to left, left to right. A South Indian yes is a similar motion from right to left, but a little oscillatory. Somebody's really laughing at our own. Are you the only Bangladeshi person here? Oh, that's fine. Oh, okay, so you're from South India? Yeah. Is that a yes or a no? I'm sorry, I didn't understand. No, 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 that's, that's, but it is true. I mean, uh, but I don't know if you were laughing at the, <laughs> I'm sorry, not the accent, but, but you know, I'm an engineer. I was kind of curious how the Indian accent would fare with an interactive voice recognition system, you know? <laughs> So I call them America Online. Welcome to AOL. Are you a member? Please say yes, no, or I don't know. I don't know. Sorry, I didn't understand. Please say again, I don't know. I'm sorry, I still didn't understand. Let's see if I have an account listed for you. Please state your telephone number. 858-449-9966. Are you calling from Kazakhstan? <laughs> No, yeah, you're such a stupid machine. I'm sorry, I'm having so much trouble understanding you. Let me transfer you to a consultant. Welcome to America Online Customer Service. <laughs> My name is Roger Adams. <laughs> you're right, Roger Adams. If you're Roger Adams, I'm Uncle Sam. <laughs> oh, how are you doing, Mr. Uncle Sam? No, 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 it's a joke. It's a joke. I'm not Uncle Sam, you're not Roger Adams, and you're in Bangalore, India, aren't you? No, sir, can't you tell from my accent I'm from Boise, Idaho? <laughs> now, please tell me, what is your login ID? Okay, it's Navi. One moment, sir. Navi? <laughs> Navid Mabu? Dude, this is Balan Dinesh. <laughs> Listen, my extension number is 217. You and I cannot talk for free. <laughs> oh, I follow this easier. And I'm sure like people here are mad at us, you know, Indians, Pakistanis, and Bangladeshis for all these jobs getting outsourced, right? It's a true story. That day, this, uh, this uh, uh, Ku Klux Klan member shows up in front of my house and leaves a burning laptop. <laughs> and everybody else, ah, so many brown people, 50 shades of brown, go to a comedy show, all desi brown people, you know, they're in shock. It's like a never ending sea of brown, never ending UPS convention. What can brown do for you? <laughs> going through psychological trauma, you know, to get away from us desis. Do you know where they go for a century? The well-being center of Dr. Deepak Chopra. <laughs> but you know, I think, you know, it's a lot, you know, I think that people from the subcontinent, Indians, Bangladeshis, Pakistanis, everybody's doing very well in Sri Lanka, everybody's doing very well here because 
We live by the Dell philosophy, D-E-L-L. -L. We have to be a doctor, engineer, lawyer, else we're a goddamn loser. <laughs> you know, there was a time when parents in the US used to tell their kids, honey, finish your dinner. There are people in India who are hungry for your food. And now they see parents in the US are telling their kids, I haram zada, finish your homework. There are people in India who are hungry for your job. <laughs> for over here in America, the native Indians, I mean the native Americans, right? Because they are, or at least one time, they were referred to as Indians. You know, every time you heard, you heard cowboys and Indians, I picture John Wayne and Mahatma Gandhi. <laughs> Howdy, pilgrim, you sure look nice in those white clothes. John Boy, sir, stop pulling my leg. Put down your gun and follow the path of non-violence. Great, you know, this uh, country actually, uh, you know, values diversity, right? And you know, I'm a Muslim, I'm a Bangladeshi, I'm an engineer, surprise, surprise, I'm a, you know, and, and you know, and, and I'm a comedian. You know, they said, you know, wow, this guy's kind of different, you know, so I have a huge fan base, huge following. They go wherever I go, <laughs> FBI agents. <laughs> keep telling them, man, I am not a terrorist, okay? I love America and all things American. Made in China. <laughs> I love America. For America, I will do jihad. <laughs> I shouldn't be cracking these kind of jokes, right? <laughs> Homeland Security, right? You know, actually, I was, I called my buddy, Balan Dinesh, that day. Hey, buddy, I'm gonna come and visit you in Bombay. Homeland Security freaks out. Coat red, coat red. There's a plot to Bombay changes its name to Mumbai. <laughs> and then you're saying, oh, Nuki, you're a Muslim. Cool, dude. You can have four wives. <laughs> married people? <laughs> Any married people here? <laughs> huh? you look, no, you're not married. So, oh, man, what is it all? <laughs> look, four wives means four mothers-in-law. <laughs> four mothers-in-law. That's going to lead a young Muslim man to go and blow himself up. <laughs> that is what I call the Muslim version of four weddings and a funeral. <laughs> but, we Muslim men, sir, we Muslim men can have four wives under the very strict condition that we have to love and treat all four wives, 100% equally. And that means the song I just called to say I love you is a conference call. <laughs> Imagine Valentine's, I'd like to reserve a table for five people in the corner. <laughs> But we don't have four wives because, you know, guys, it's a, uh, we, we can't, you know, we're just guys, we'll be guys. We love our own kids and everybody else's wives. <laughs> I'm married, 14 years. World. <laughs> this guy said, oh my God, but <laughs> single guy clapping away. <laughs> I meant you are a single person who is clapping away. <laughs> That's his mating call, I'm telling you. <laughs> talking about kids, you know, talking about how many people have kids over here? That you know of. <laughs> kids, kids are absolutely great, you know. I've got two daughters. Yeah, <laughs> at home it's a sea of hormones, my dear. So, so my, uh, you know, I got a seven-year-old daughter, and you know, she, she's like very smart. You know, you stand win an argument with her. You know, she said, "Baba, you have to buy me a bicycle." I said, "Are you crazy? Have you seen the traffic?" I said, "No, Baba, you have to buy me a bicycle." <laughs> I said, "Why?" Because my friend Raimana has a bicycle. I said, "Hey, if Raimana goes and jumps into the river, are you going to jump into the river?" No, Baba, I'll go and take her bicycle. <laughs> She's a 
Californian girl, you know, she speaks all day. I'm an FOB, funny of the boat, you know, so I don't understand what the hell she, she said, Dad, Baba, have you seen uh, Azam, you know, he's got the metrosexual look. I said, what? <laughs> she's seven years old and she's saying, you know, met I said, what the hell is metrosexual? I'm a Daisy FOB, you know, I don't know what's metrosexual. First time I heard the word metrosexual, I thought it meant like somebody who's attracted to public transportation. <laughs> Like I'm the outsourced version of uh, Jay Leno in Pandemic. 